Have you ever thought about living on Whitefish Lake? In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know if you want to get a house on Whitefish Lake. We'll talk about the different parts of the lake and what to expect with homes in these different areas. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd do us a favor and please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video about Montana. Whitefish Lake is a beautiful lake located just on the northwest side of downtown Whitefish. It's one of the most desirable places to live in all of Montana. The lake is about seven miles long and about a mile wide in some places and there are homes located all around the lake except on the west side when you get just north of Beaver Bay all the way up to Delray Road. As you can see on this map, I have broken down the lake into four different sections. Each section is unique to the others and each one has its own pros and cons. Let's start by looking at section one. We will call this section the state park area. All right, let's zoom in a little bit on the map here for the state park area. As you can see, we're calling it the state park area because the Whitefish Lake State Park is right here. And you access this section of the map that I've created, you access from two different directions. Basically, you come down State Park Road to access this northern part. And you'll see on the video that I shot here, we, we come right down State Park Road and turn right and come down Lake Shore. And there's a dead end in here that I will show you. The other way you can access the back end of this or the top end, however you want to say it. There's homes right over in this area too. And you have to go through Lion Mountain subdivision and you go down and there's a, there's a, the subdivision has a beach right down here. But on the way to the beach, there's also an access point over the tr tracks here to access some of the homes right here on this point. So we didn't go over there, but I did do a tour down Lakeshore Drive. And like I said, that's the first way to access this part. Um, the other way is right before the golf course, you turn right on Ramsey Avenue here and you come down to this T and then you go straight down here. And as you can see, the Whitefish River comes out right here, but there's homes all the way along, along the river and then where the lake starts up again. And like I said, there's a dead end right in here that we will show you. So let's take a look at the video and I'll explain it as we go. So here we are coming north on State Park Road. And as you can see, that's the entrance to Lion Mountain Subdivision. That's the area we talked about earlier. And as you continue down State Park Road, you cross the train tracks and they're going to come into play here in a minute uh, for this section of homes. Right there is the entrance to the State Park. And as we head east down the road you can see the houses here on your left these are all waterfront properties and this road is kind of narrow as you can tell there's not a lot of room for parking so if you're having parties or anything over here uh, it can be a little rough trying to find enough parking spaces for all your friends and that is one of the cons of this area the good part of this area is the homes are pretty close to the water and it's flat it's a there's nice beaches over here. There's not a whole bunch of stairs going down to the lake. So that's one of the benefits. On the right hand side is the train tracks. Here's where the dead end is that I talked about. But now we're heading back the other way on this road and you can see right on your left. These are the train tracks and this is how close it is. They're right there. You can feel the train and you can hear the train every time it, go every time it goes by. So now we'll check out the area that you access from Ramsey Road. Again, you cross the train tracks over here. We're going to turn right and head east. And on this road, it's pretty wide. It's much wider than what we just saw uh, on the first part. Uh, but this is also the area uh, down here on the left where you're basically where the Whitefish River comes out of the lake. So these houses right in here are on the lake. But a little further down, they're actually on the river. And when we get to the end here, you'll see the whitefish trails that go through town. 
starts right here, the bike trail, and there's a bridge that crosses the river and takes you over to the city beach area. So this is a nice area. The worst part of this area is that particular train crossing, you can have up to half hour delays where the train will actually stop right there. So as we head back west on Birch Point Drive, you'll see that the road gets really narrow again, kind of like it did on the other side. And this also ends in a dead end up here. But the thing about this little section is, again, very narrow road and even the lots are narrow here. The good thing is these houses are right on the water. And so you're, you basically your deck is looking right over the lake. But the bad thing is, as you can see, there's just, there's no room for many cars uh, to even turn around right in here. So it's a very narrow section, but a very nice area too, because you're close to town and you're right on the water. And you have beautiful views straight across the lake up towards the ski resort. So that is what the state park section looks like as we drove around. Let's take a look now at our MLS and I'll show you what's sold over there over the past year. There's been five sales and the price ranges are, we have the first one sold for 1175000 on Beach Lane and the top sale over in that area was $2.585 so let's take a look at section two on my map. And that's what I like to call the town area of Whitefish Lake. We're gonna start down here at City Beach and tour around Lakeside Boulevard and then come down to Coda. We'll come into Bay Point, which is a condo complex that's right on the water and uh, head back on Dakota. Then we hit Wisconsin Avenue and you head north, you'll go past the lodge at Whitefish Lake. There's some condos here as well that are part of the lodge. And then you come around the corner, and this is called Houston Point, and that's kind of the end of my town section. There is a, a bike trail and walking trail that goes all the way along Lakeshore Drive in Wisconsin and takes you into downtown. So, like I said, this is all part of the town area of the lake. And I'd have to say this is probably the most desirable area of the lake to live on because it's all relatively flat, nice beaches. Um, the only downfall of this part of town, and it's not all of it, there's just some areas, uh, there are some shallow spots. When you, any of these houses that are right over in here, there's an area right in here in the lake that's that has buoys and is coned off that's really shallow. So there's actually a few houses in here that can't get any sort of big boat landed at their house. Um, as you get further around the corner, you, there are some docks and you can start getting boats in here, but that's the only spot on the whole lake where there's a shallow area like that, but I just thought I would point that out. So let's take the tour. So here's the town portion of Whitefish Lake. We're starting at the Whitefish City Beach, which is on the southwest shore of Whitefish Lake and all of the trails that go through the town of Whitefish they all end up here at Whitefish City Beach. It's a great area in the summer as you can see there's a park, there's gazebos where you can have lunch, there are some homes on the right side of the street here and some apartments but then on the left you start getting into the really nice homes again flat beaches, nice lakeshore, nice access beautiful views of uh, the ski resort and as you come up over the hill we're going to get on to Dakota Avenue which we're going to be heading north on Dakota and all the homes on the left side of the street here they are right on the water and again flat beaches very nice some of the homes a little further down have been torn down the older homes and new custom homes have been built in their place very expensive, very desirable spot here on Dakota Avenue. You're right in town, uh, close to downtown. You turn left off of Dakota and you come in here. This is called Bay Point. There's uh, boat ramp. There's boat docks for your boats. 
It's a big condo development. You can buy condos in here. These all rent night, nightly and weekly. Another great area right on the lake. Now we're back out on Dakota heading north. And there's a couple of uh, big houses on the left here. And there's a, a guy that bought a whole bunch of houses and kind of made this into a big compound here on the left. And down at the end of Dakota, you turn left and go on Glenwood Drive. And again, very nice houses in here, right on the water. One of, one of the real desirable spots here in Whitefish to have a house. I think that particular lot that you can see right there sold for almost $2 million. And it's just unbelievable the places that are right here in town that are on the water. Once we come out of Glenwood, we'll get back onto Wisconsin Avenue and start heading towards the Whitefish Lake Lodge. That little skyway there, that comes from the main lodge, which is on the lake, and goes over to more lodging on the other side of the road. And there's condos there on the left that you can see. There is a bike path, walk path on the right side of the road that takes you all the way down to the end of this town section of the lake, as I like to call it. There's some really big houses here on the left that have been built, remodeled, that are right on the water, just spectacular lake frontage right along here. And then you get to the end and you start bending to the left, heading north to head into the third section of the lake. And this is Houston Point, kind of the end of this section. So there's the town section of the lake. Let's take a look at our MLS. And as you can see, there's only been two places that have sold here over the past year. It's such a popular area, people rarely get rid of these homes. And when they do come on the market, they usually sell pretty quick. And of these two homes, the first one sold for $1,298,000. And the other one sold for $2,200,000. So there you go. Let's go check out the East Lakeshore Drive section of the lake. So the third section of Whitefish Lake that we need to go over is called the East Lakeshore Drive portion. And once you start heading out of town, you get past the turnoff to the ski resort and you go past Houston Point, um, you'll hit Les Mason State Park, which is right on the water. Nice little park that the locals know about. It's usually way less crowded than City Beach. But once you get past that, the road kind of gets narrow and starts climbing uphill. And all the way down the road, you're quite a ways up above the lake. So all these homes in here have big sets of stairs going down to the water. There's the rare exception, but most of the houses in here, you have quite a steep drop down to the lake. It's kind of a cliff right down and, and people build long staircases. And the other bad part of this section of the lake is this road is very narrow. And you'll see as we take the drive, it can be a very bad road in the winter. You don't really want to drive it. And a lot of these homes that are on this section of the lake are only used, only used during the summer just because it's pretty tough to deal with this road in the winter when the roads are icy. And sometimes you get some rocks coming off the side of the mountain here. And let's take a look in person and you'll see what I'm talking about. So as I showed you on the map, once you start heading out of town and you pass Les Mason State Park, uh, the road along East Lakeshore Drive becomes pretty narrow and you start going uphill. You just, when you're driving on this road, you need to be careful. There's a lot of people that use it to ride their bikes. It's a great bike ride. It's beautiful, but as you can see, you're heading up and it's very windy. So if you meet a big truck, or another car that's coming down the middle of the road, it's kind of hard to get out of the way sometimes. These slopes on the right here, this is what I was talking about in the winter, the rocks sometimes fall down with the moisture and the freezing. And the good thing about living on this side of the lake is it's obviously much more quiet than it is in town. Um, you are up high, so the views are incredible looking out across the whole lake looking both directions up and down the lake you have great views 
and the train is on the other side of the lake, so that's not a factor over here either. Um, but like I said, these the houses over on this side of the lake usually have big sets of stairs going down. The roads are very narrow, as you can see. If you meet a car, sometimes it's kind of tough. You may have to back up. But again, the, the houses over here are great in the summer. They're quieter. Um, and the views are incredible from this side of the lake. So you just have to keep this in mind anytime you're looking for a house down in, down in this end of the lake, you're gonna have to deal with stairs and there's very few houses that have a flat level beach down to the water. Once you get down towards the very end of the lake like we are right here, it starts to flatten out again and this would be the end of section number three of Whitefish Lake. Okay, so let's take a look at what sold over here on the East Lake Shore section of the lake over the past year. There were five homes, as you can see, and they ranged in price from $1,300,000 all the way up to $5 million. And that was closer to town on a flat area or a flatter lot. It was an acre and a half. Uh, it was built in 2015 and it's 5,000 square feet. So those are your sales over here on East Lakeshore. Let's check out the final part of the lake up at the north end of the lake and see what we got going over there. All right, let's take a look at the fourth and final section of Whitefish Lake. It's down at the very end at the north end of the lake. Uh, it's kind of a cool area once you get down there. It opens up. It's kind of some big properties down here, some ranches uh, that you can see. There's actually a, a place for sale here for $20 million if you're interested. Um, but there is some cool things here. Either you have a Frisbee golf course down here. You have part of the Whitefish Trails. Uh, is, there's a trailhead right here, the Swift Creek Trailhead. Um, you can go back to this little hike back to this little Smith Lake. Um, this road here is a forest road. It's only open in the summer, but it takes you way back along the Whitefish Range to Upper Whitefish Lake and and beyond. Um, but anyway, Delray Road is the the last road here at the end, and it dead ends right down here. Some of the houses here are kind of cool. They've got they built this little channel here that you can see so people can that aren't on the lake can still have a boat and get it in and out. Um, it is a little shallow as you can see down here. So if you have a huge boat, it may not get into some of these docks, but um, it's not terribly shallow. So unless you have something really big, a uh, boat will work fine. But anyway, let's take a look at the car tour and see what you think. So here we are. We'll start at the Swift Creek Trailhead. This is part of the Whitefish Trails. We're still back in the woods here towards the end of the lake. Uh, you head down the road through the trees and as you get a little further around the corner it starts to open up and these are the big properties over here. You have some big ranch type areas. Like I said there's a 20 million dollar listing over here. Uh, it's all flat level land that goes out to the water. This is Swift Creek Bridge we're going over right now. Uh, it's August, so the creek isn't as swift as it is in the spring. In the spring, this is really a raging little river. Uh, pretty nice to see during the springtime. But again, you keep heading down this road and it opens up more and more the, the, the further you go down. And off to the right, you're looking down the Whitefish Range towards Canada to the north. And like I said, you have these big properties, kind of ranch land. There's some horses out here. It's just a beautiful area. And the, the, lake, the lake views from this end of the lake are spectacular. You're looking all the way down the lake back towards the town of Whitefish. So there's just not a bad view over here at all. As you can see, it's just spectacular. You can look up at the ski resort as well. And... Once you continue heading down this road, it kind of wraps around, and that's where I was showing you on the satellite map where they built that channel for the houses over here. So there's quite a few houses that aren't right on Whitefish Lake, 
but they still have lake access because of that channel. So they can get their boats in and out and utilize the lake from from this end. And it's really quiet down here. Uh, there's no traffic really down at this end of the lake. As you come around the, the last corner there, you're back in the woods. The only negative is just to the right here is the train track. So you're dealing with the train noise again, like we talked about some of those places in town. But then the road just dead ends, and this is the end. It's about exactly 10 miles from here back into downtown Whitefish. So let's take a look at what's sold down here at the far end of the lake. Uh, we had four sales during the past year, and they ranged in price from 1825000 all the way up to 3850000 so that completes our tour of Whitefish Lake. So as you have seen, Whitefish Lake is a beautiful place and the homes around it are awesome. If you'd like a full list of anything that's currently available on the lake right now, feel free to contact us at any time, we'd love to help. Or if you'd like a tour of any of the houses, we'd be happy to set that up for you as well. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so next time a video comes out you will be notified. Our information is on the screen so please contact us at any time and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.